In California, I grew up uh, right near Wilshire and Crenshaw, if you know Los Angeles at all. I went to Los Angeles High School. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Barry Coleman, along with Dan Ashmore, my co-host for the two weeks coverage of the 10th Summer Olympic Games here at the Los Angeles Olympic Stadium. Well, the Olympics were coming, and we had a vacant lot next door to our house, and uh, no one had built on it. And um, we built a miniature Olympic Games there. I mean, literally, we made a bicycle track, we did everything. And his name was Warmer Dam, Warmer Dam the uh, man that was going to do the pole vaulting for us. Mm -hmm. Cornelius Warmer Dam. Yep, yep. He lived two blocks behind where I lived. Wow. So he came and showed us all how it was, but he wouldn't let us until he was sure we had bamboos that wouldn't crack. We, if you can believe it, we hauled the sawdust up and made the field. We had a pit with sawdust in it, and well, anyway, we were sort of nutty, but did we have a good time? But when you think of pole vaulting in the world, there is one man who comes to your attention. The world's first 15-foot pole vaulter, and he did it so many, many times before anybody else was able to clear that height. 1932, you were starting to talk that you actually had a, a little bit of a role there at the Olympics itself. Yes, I did. What was that? Well, my mother and father had worked hard on the community in many things, and there was a lady named Peggy Hamilton whom they elected to be the fashion queen. And there was to be a big, huge procession at the Biltmore Hotel and the crowning of the queen the night before the Olympics started. And the next thing I knew, I'm getting fitted in a little tight bodice dress, and a little collar that goes like a little princess-like, and a hat and all, and I'm to carry a little pillow that's to have a queen a crown on it, a little crown. And there were ladies in waiting, and well, anyway, I have pictures of it. I wasn't very old, and I remember that night very well because I stepped backwards after I carried the crown and got down there, and there was a little boy that was the page that was tending me, kind of. And my skirt got kind of wound up and I stepped backwards and I heard crunch. I'd stepped on one of the pearls on the dress on the queen. Uh, and she said to me out of her smile, your father can pay for that pearl, can't he, Blossom? I always remembered that and I thought, oh, who's thinking money right now or a pearl breaking, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But everywhere that would always come up. Yeah. It always made me kind of not like those people. Yeah. So then what happened was the Olympics went on and it was great.